Greetings, guys. Hello. Hi, Dave. We thought we we thought we'd. I've given Dave his own camera. Uh, I thought we'd um, just talk about the Dorje Masterclass. Yes, we are on tour in November and December, as you probably know, and it's going to be awesome. And we decided to change things up to what we did the last couple of times, where we had VIP clinics. Because the clinics were they were really good fun. Um, and it was, it was an open Q&A thing and we answered all the questions but we felt that it could have been structured a little bit better and probably people wanted more thorough tuition so we've rearranged what we're doing redesigned if you will yeah a lot of people said that they really really enjoyed it but they had they wanted to learn more about being in a band like writing parts <laughs> getting tones, that kind of thing. So we've been putting our minds together to work out how we can condense the best of what we know and have into one fun-filled hour for your sonic enjoyment. I love the fun-filled hour tag. Can we, <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that in tags. Fun-filled hour. <coughs> that could be any Dorjo thing. Dot com. Uh, so basically we're each going to be teaching a specific thing that we think is essential for bands nowadays doing what we think we do. Uh, Dave, what are you going to be doing? I'll be mainly looking at um, sort of structuring and writing and composing bass parts to support the band and how to get kind of different textures and dynamics and stuff. Um, different ways you can play the bass and stuff to get different sounds, that kind of thing. Grooving with a drummer. Um, Probably course, fair enough to say that this is the first time you've really ever taught. It is the first time I've ever taught anything, yeah, because uh, when we have anything useful to say. <laughs> <laughs> plus, plus tones. Um, yeah, and we'll be looking at tones as well and kind of like what sort of frequencies you should be looking at to dial in to make your band sound fat. Teach. Uh, I'm going to teach how to make odd time signatures groove and how to use them in a band setting. Because obviously you can write stuff in odd times, but the real art is making it still flow uh, and work with the rest of the band. So we're going to look at like obviously starting in 4-4, four, four, but looking at 6-8, 5-8, 7-8, uh, and basically going to play some grooves, get Dave and the rest of the guys to lock down something for you to listen to and probably clap along with the actual odd times and we'll show you how to either play with them, play across them, play against them and how you can make that gel as a band. So a little drum masterclass on rhythm and odd time signatures. A masterclass within a masterclass. Yeah, it'd be a sub masterclass. In section. But don't worry because it will be interesting to guitarists and bassists and vocalists as well as drummers. It's all Although actually we no, it's quite a few drummers come to the gig. Yeah, time. it's all encompassing. Yeah. Just generally songwriting, really. Yeah. yeah. It's creative ways to make things sound interesting. Peter? I will be focusing on, well, I suppose creating textures again, rather than just show people how to shred. Um, it'll be things like maybe constructing a quick riff or like showing how you can apply effects to create a sound. Kind of like what the edge does. You know, like where you play like not a lot, but you get a lot out of it. You comparing yourself to one of the best guitarists in the entire world? No, I'm just saying that he's shit. <laughs> <laughs> you and play. Ireland went offline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talking of Ireland, we owe Ireland a huge debt of gratitude because they were the first country in the world to <laughs> chart Dorje. Which was quite an awesome email to get from our managers. It was. When you're charting in Ireland, we're like, we're talking about it. We haven't even told anybody in Ireland that we've, we've got anything online. We haven't told anybody, and it's only pre-orders. So we were sat around going, the EP hasn't launched yet. There's pre-orders on iTunes. We haven't made a big like deal about the links. And uh, apparently you Irish folk are already searching iTunes on a daily basis for oh, it's, a, it's a bit mind-blowing, really. We, all, we were 118 in the charts, but that's out of 200. And it's all genres. So, you know, I'm quite happy about that. We were competing with the boys' own back catalog, which was... The other hundred. A stunning effort. Well, it's <laughs> uh, I'm going to be teaching you about how to synchronise singing and playing at the same time, which is something that I've struggled with 
for the last two years, I think it's fair to say. But now I can do it, and it's good. And I've worked out how I do it, and I think it's something I can teach quite effectively. And also maybe I'll dabble into things like vibrato and bending, and how to incorporate those in a useful vocal way in your solos. We're also going to um, show you the gear we've got on tour this time as well because obviously along with tones and writing parts a big part of that is the choice of gear and, and the sounds you make so it'll be like you know a rig rundown of what we're all using and I'm sure there'll be time for some open Q&A's as well we just wanted to make it more structured, structured because yes. we had a lot of feedback from the last two so we want to make it better than ever on what you actually want to see we want to give a lot of value for money um, and it's called the VIP ticket you can buy it here where is it Ben? where is it Beast? Dave, where was it? Dave. And <laughs> on cue. Uh, and it, I don't know, how much is it? Do we know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Not a lot. Whatever the value it is, it's definitely <laughs> worth the money. And, but the good thing is that you're going to get varied information that I think will be really useful. But obviously, you can ask us questions on the day. You know, you can just ask us anything you like, really. Um, and there's going to be a lot of us playing stuff on stage and the examples. It won't just be chat. It'll be us showing physically how we actually do these things. So if you'd like to get a VIP ticket to the Dorje Masterclass, then please click the link. There are limited numbers per gig because we really want to keep them small uh, and give people a good view of us when we're doing it. And you scoot your chairs up really close to us and that kind of thing. So I think you'll really enjoy it. Yeah, they're awesome fun. We've loved doing them the last few times and everyone that's come down has been like, that was badass. But there's some specific stuff that we think a lot of you want to know so that's what we're going to do this time. I think if I wanted to, if I went to a masterclass of a band that I really liked, I'd, I'd absolutely do it like Incubus. That would be amazing. Mm. See a masterclass of Incubus Carnival. or Carnival or Slayer. I'd want to see Joe Satriani. Joe Satriani? Yeah, man. Wait, So Jatriani. So Jatriani. Or, back in the day, Gita Breen. Gita Breen. Preen. We do a lot of spoonerisms in this band. What are we talking about? Well, yeah, but that basically that was a little video about the masterclasses, what to expect. We structured it. It should be a really cool thing. They were limited. Do you know how many tickets there are for South Beach One? It depends on the size of the venue. Oh right. Um, but we've kept it pretty limited, like you said, because it's yeah. definitely less than fifty. It's intimate. It's, oh, it's definitely less than. 50. It's intimate with yeah. Ben. Yeah. <laughs> thing to say, and I hope you guys will be, be looking forward to this, is that uh, not only have we shot two music videos, which are absolutely awesome, but also we've written uh, a bit of new tunage. Now I've phrased that in a specific way which, which doesn't necessarily say how many new tunes we've written, because uh, we've already written one and they want to write another one. But um, there'll be new material being unleashed at the gigs for the first time. Exclusivity. Yeah. Yes. That is great. And one of the songs is called Reunite and it's about dying. So if you want to come down for a cheery night with Dory, <laughs> <laughs> then please click the link below and come and see us live. Anyway, cool. we, better, we better say goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you there. Dave.